Hi guys, in this session we're going to learn another hacker rank problem titled Migratory Birds. Right? Let's quickly read the question and try to understand what we need to do in this particular problem. You have been asked to help study the population of birds migrating across the co continent. Right? So generally the birds move from one place to another place depending upon the season. Right? So, okay, this problem statement says that there are some birds moving from one place to another place. They just use the uh, term called as continent. It can be uh, okay, any place to any other place. Now, you need to study the population of birds migrating. Okay, right? Now, each type of birds you are interested in will be identified by an integer value. Right? So, every bird or every type of the bird will have a number like you can just assume that okay you have a crow with one and then we have parrot with two or pigeon with three something like that right okay each time a particular kind of bird is spotted or sighted its id number will be added to your array of sightings clear okay you'd like to be able to find out which type of bird is most common given the list of sightings clear okay your task is to print the type number of that bird and if two or more birds of types are equally common, choose the type with the smallest ID number. Clear? So let us try to understand okay, a bit more by seeing some of the sample inputs. It basically says this input that if there are five birds, right, one, one, two, two, three. This one, one, two, two, three is the type of the birds. We have two birds with the ID one, we have two birds with the ID two and then we have one bird with the ID 3, right? And then among this, which is the most common occurring? You have 1 and 2, okay, because type 1 is occurring twice, type 2 is occurring twice. Now among, okay, these two, okay, the smallest number is 1, we need to print 1, right? There is one more example which has been mentioned out here. We will try to look into this particular problem as well as this input statement, right? So in more detail, okay, fine. Now this is the input which is given out there. We had six birds and the IDs was 1, 4, 4, 4, 5 and 3. Now how are we going to solve this particular thing is we are going to take the help of a frequency array. When we talk about frequency array, it's not a special kind of an array. It's just an array which holds the frequency of every element which is occurring, right? And then the problem statement says that there will be only five types of birds. Okay, since there are only five types of birds, I am going to take up an array wherein the frequency index will be like, okay, 1 to 5. Right? Okay. Now, first I will start scanning with the first bird. Okay, the first bird which is flying. And I will try to see what is the ID. Okay, the ID of this is 1. Since the ID of the first one is 1, what happens is, I will go to the frequency table. I will update the, okay. A value in the count of the type 1 here. You can just see out here, okay. It is increment from 0 to 1. Then next, I will go to the second bird which is cited and its type is 4. I will go to the frequency table. At index 4, I will update it to 1. Then I will go to the third one out here. Again, it is of type 4. I will go to the, okay, frequency table here. I will update from 1 to 2, right. Then I'll go to the fourth element, which is again of type 4. Then I'll go to the frequency table, update the value from 2 to 3. Then the fifth one, right, the bird type is 5. So I'll go to the index 5 here, update it from 0 to 1, right. Then, okay, the last one, which is 3, okay. So I'll go to the index 3 in the frequency table and then update it. Clear? Among this, 4 is the most commonly occurring bird, okay, because 4 is occurring 3 times, okay, a bird of type 1, 3 and 5 is only occurring once and we don't have any occurrence of bird 2, right. So we have to print the output as 4, right, type 4 is occurring the most, clear, fine, and is occurring 3 times, clear, okay, let us try to take up one more example out here, which is again given in the problem statement. We had 11 birds, the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 4, right? Now, again, we are going to take the frequency table. How many ones are there? 1, 2, there are 2, okay, times of type bird occurring, right? 2, 1, again 2, 3, 1, 2 and 3 times, 4, 1, 2 and 3 times, 5, only once. Okay, what should be the resultant frequency table? 
the resultant frequency table should be like this 1 is occurring twice 2 is occurring twice 3 is occurring three times 4 is occurring two uh, three times and then okay 5 is occurring once now here okay the maximum occurring is okay uh, the value is 3 and bird 3 also has three occurrences bird 4 also has okay three occurrences okay since uh, both have e same occurrences so we need to print the smaller value among this we need to print the output as 3 right this 3 corresponds to the index not the count clear fine okay now let's move into the program the first thing we'll try to read the number of birds and once we read the number of birds which are available then we'll try to declare an array to hold the type of each bird so i'll give a meaningful name like bird ids right and there are n number of birds and after that i'd like to read the value of each of the bird so i'd like to run an array out here which is going to run n number of times and each time i'm going to read the value so if you want to use printf you can use printf but remember uh, while finally submitting it into the hacker rank don't use extra printfs right like whatever you use it okay to print initially like enter the number of birds enter the id of each of the bird and all those things clear fine now once the reading is done the next job is we need to create a frequency array and the problem statement says that there are only five type of words so i would like to create a frequency array i'd like to create a frequency array of six elements why is this six is because the bird types will be anything from one two three four and five but my array indexing begins with zero right yes there are no birds of type zero but the array indexing begins with zero right so if i want index is one two three four five then better to declare an array of six clear right i'm initializing it to zero out here remember whenever an array is partially initialized all the remaining elements will be set to zero right now i would like to scan one by one all the elements of the bird ids and every time i scan i would like to get to know what is the id of that particular bird and when i get this particular bird id i will use this as the index and go to the frequency table remember here right this is my index if you find difficulty understanding this i would basically say that capture this into something a separate thing called as index right and then you can use the index so that you can print the index value separately right you need to increment the index value by one so you can use plus plus or you can write frequency of index equal to frequency of index plus one anything is fine clear okay you can either use this or you can just take this part and place it here clear okay at the end of this your frequency table is ready the next thing is you need to find out which type of bird is occurring the largest so initially we'll assume the first type of bird is occurring the maximum time so i'll just write max okay uh, type type of the bird which is occurring the max is one and then the frequency i'll just try to mention that it is the frequency of type one right okay now since the first one is already captured here I'd like to run a loop starting from 2 and how many type of birds are there there are 5 type of birds right I can write i less than 6 or i less than or equal to 5 but remember it is not n it is based on the number of birds or number of types of birds what you have right I'll be scanning the frequency table I'll just check out if the uh, ith entry in the frequency table if it is greater than the present max okay type clear right i'll just mention this okay if it is greater okay so what i'll try to do or uh, not max type max frequency right okay now i'll update this max type equal to i i will specify the type and then max frequency i'll capture it here max frequency equal to frequency of i right okay now what we need to print we need to print only the type not the frequency of it right so we can just use a printf we can just use percentage d right and then max type 
clear okay now let me try to run this program and check out now remember i have not used any extra printfs so let us say there are five type of okay are there six type of birds right initially when we tried so then the birds were one four 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 five and three okay type four is occurring three times so the output should be four clear yes if you want you can print the frequency array and you can get to know okay uh, what is the index values of everything now you can take this particular code go to the place here delete the existing code place this done we have placed this particular code what we just did right we will try to run the code pass the sample test cases we will submit it past all the test cases yes if you want to reduce the number of lines what you can actually do it is you can actually move this here and as you are reading this okay simultaneously not only that you read the value in this you can also place this also out there only instead of running two for loops that can be done and as i said like i can replace this out there so i could directly place this here right okay and this is not required the remaining part remains as it is so we are basically reducing the number of lines clear okay so if you want you can take this particular code also and then you can try to submit it there so that was the previous code what i had okay i'll try to take that code delete this paste the new one right okay run the code done Yeah, guys this is my code right finding out the frequency is combined along with the reading and only finding out the largest one right okay even here also if you want you can reduce a little bit fine thank you